Well, Matt Gregory with our Verify team is looking into a viral claim on TikTok that says scientists actually had a decades-long head start. Our experts say that the TikTok video really oversimplifies the process for creating vaccines. In one sense, yes, the research and the technology for our current vaccines was developed decades ago, but at the same time, they both wanted to stress they're not the same vaccines. In this TikTok video, a woman who claims to have a PhD says the coronavirus vaccines aren't new, that they were first developed for the SARS epidemic in 2002. We stopped doing a lot of research on these vaccines. This is not new technology. These are not new vaccines. I need you to stop all of you. Let's verify. Did the current COVID-19 vaccines come from the vaccines developed to fight SARS? Our sources are Dr. William Moss, a vaccines expert from Johns Hopkins University, and Dr. William Schaffner, an infectious diseases expert from Vanderbilt University. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, there were two other coronavirus outbreaks that got international attention. In 2002, it was SARS, and in 2012, it was MERS. Yeah, they were both coronaviruses, and in both epidemics, drug companies created vaccines. Two went into uh, phase one trials that early step in vaccine development for safety and dosage, um, and then basically it ended. Why? Well, both experts say the viruses weren't as deadly and the epidemics were contained. But that technology was the beginning of studies, scientific studies, that led to the technology that we are using today for the COVID vaccine. Here is where the video is wrong. Yes, the Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca vaccines use a technology that was developed for SARS and MERS but the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines do not. I do think that experience in developing, you know, vaccines against SARS coronavirus and MERS um, really helped lay the groundwork for, uh, for our own, you know, SARS coronavirus 2 vaccines now. But we wouldn't have had a COVID vaccine. And I don't think we could have gotten a COVID vaccine any sooner than we did now. So the video is a bit misleading. Yes, the research and technology from the SARS and MERS vaccines went into our current vaccines, but they aren't the same vaccines. I asked both of our experts if the SARS and the MERS vaccines had gone all the way through to approval, would we have developed a COVID-19 vaccine faster? And they both were in agreement in which they said, no, they don't believe that that would have happened because while SARS, MERS, and the virus that causes COVID-19 are all coronaviruses, they're all individually different types of viruses, and that's what makes it difficult to make a singular vaccine that would work with all of them. With your Verify, I'm Matt Gregory.